All right, so I know I already recorded my round of the day, but I just lost a point with a tie for first in a three-person card. Beat somebody and tied and lost a point. So I wanted to get that back, but I'm kind of regretting my decision because we got a one versus one here with Mark. Let's see if we can start out with an ace. Accurate roll sapphire. No, it's going to miss left. So I was tied for fifth place, and then that minus one knocked me down to like eighth or ninth, maybe tenth. So I wanted to get one more to try to get that point back, but I got a tall task ahead of me. Tied after one with Mark. Let's see what we got for a hole two. Should be an albatross here for both of us, although this is probably the toughest wind on this hole. Got to make sure I aim a little higher than I normally do. Just can still throw the glide roll rive. No reason to uh, throw a light glide or anything. Plenty of disc. And we get our albatross. Mark looked like he was parked right there. So tied at four under after two. If only I was that good in real life. All right, here we go. See if we can possibly get an ace here with the warship. And no, that's missing left, but it's safely on the green. And we will finish off our birdie and finish up with Lakeside at, what, five under par, tied up. Moving on, a couple par threes and a par four. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's a tough wind here. I'm still going to go skip Sapphire. I usually aim about here. I'm going to sl slide it over a little more, I think, and put a little more Anheuser. Don't get stuck in that bush. Get through. All right, we got a big skip. Oh, that was nice. I'll take that mark. Here he comes. Oh, looks like we're going to get a stroke. Maybe more. Get in there. All right, we got the birdie. Can Mark save his par? That's tough from back there. Nice. We just picked up two shots. Still, there's five holes to go, but that is definitely an awesome sign. Hopefully, we can keep it together, not screw this up. Oof. Oh, man. Tough hole here with a tough wind. I'm going to go glide, turn, rive. Try to turn it over. Don't want to go too much, though. Oh, not enough. Stay in bounds. Sit down. All right, we stayed in bounds. going to be a tough throw, though, 90 feet. Looks like Mark's inside of me by 10 feet. Big three headwind. See if that throw-in video paid off. No, gosh. And, of course, Mark makes his. Man, took 30 feet off of that. Still missed it high. So our two-shot lead is down to a one-shot lead. Just gonna play this one for birdie here. Light glide rive. Just throw it out there with some hyzer. Ah, it's turning a little too much. Come on, hyzer hard. Sit down. Oh my goodness. All right, that was a little too close for comfort. We're going with a vandal on a forehand, I think. Keep this nice and straight. Shouldn't have to worry about it going too far, but I am going to take some off just to make sure. Last thing you want to do is slide long. This is nowhere near long. Not even putting, but we're only 57 feet, so better be able to make... Oh, my goodness. Whew. Thought that was going to spit out. All right, three holes to go. One shot lead. I think it was Coyote Canyon. Oh, crap. And I think Coyote Canyon 3 is in the mix. This one should be an automatic birdie for both of us. I'm going Glide Sapphire. Mark's going a backhand route. wonder if he's trying to skip it in. No, he's just, that's just his, maybe in that wind. Either way, both going to get the birdie. And I maintain my one-shot lead going into Coyote Canyon 3. Man, what do I do? Do I go for it, knowing there's a really good chance that Mark gets the eagle? Or do I play it safe? 
pulled the water skip out, but I think I think I'm just gonna play this safe and make Mark earn it. If he gets the eagle, more power to him. Just trying to be smarter. Worst case, I get a birdie. He gets the eagle, and we're tied. Oh, it looks like it's online. Oh, I think he got stuck in the water. Let's try to throw this in and seal the deal. Got the vandal. Get in. Ah, oh, too high. Right online, just too high. See if he can. Yep, he gets the throw in for birdie. So I got a one-shot lead, one hole to go. Don't screw it up, Aaron. <laughs> Which one is it? Either one. It's okay. Well, got a nice wind here. I'm gonna go glide, skip, arrive on a forehand. Definitely probably one of the few that throws this route regularly, but it's just what I'm comfortable with, and we get it to go. Nice. Oh, look at that. Even a friendly bounce back off the wall. Easy birdie. We get the win. That should give us two points. And that should put us in solo fifth place, I think. Let's take a look at Mark's bag. The Hope Harp, the Claymore Fuse, Explorer Sapphire, Glide Roll Rive, Glide Windbreak Rive that says Jarn on it. Accurate Glide Sapphire, Water Skip Captain. I love that Water Skip. He's got two Water Skip. Interesting. Captain and Arrive. And let's see here. No new disc right now. Let's take a look at that leaderboard. This is our bonus round for today. Now it's bedtime. And three, 921, baby. Solo fifth place. Sweet. I'll take it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching me play some DGV.